It all began with Le Demoiselle d'Avignon, inside a musty old Victorian bedchamber. Nothing with a hint of order could have prepared Mutton and Jeff for such an intense modulation. Needless to say, all developments prior to a chronological sequence made very little difference to Houseman's jagged post curve and linear style. A new meaning beckoned, hence the knocking of heads through the nearest wall, no longer interested Voltaire. Duchamp was still experiencing the serious checkmate. However, his anti-art concept and simple transformation of an everyday pejorative ceramic lavatory was still causing a bit of a stir among certain bourgeoisie. Aesthetic digestive sleep continued to provoke insults and an abyss of poetic punch. The definition of such a transformation was broad, anonymous and often generic. Mr. Arp knew no boundaries alongside depth and a collective subconscious and was now being worked up to a hearty froth of infamy and stench. <clears throat> Hanging down from a grey dummy was such an expression rarely seen of pure freedom of revolution that anything could be. was indeed dangerous and loaded. It was immediately cut, then rearranged like an angular mask. That quickly changed into a flow of blood-red water, with not a single constraint whatsoever. Nothing with a hint of order could have prepared Mutton and Jeff for such an intense modulation. Do not repeat, but proceed to the counterculture, waste and energy. Affront the flashes of genius, bent back, grind and spittle. Broider was now secured to a lamp, a dead patent for Rex Hamburger and other such absurd reviews. <clears throat> Such popular juxtapositions defined a period of political and light phenomena, an impulse much like an open gash, pissing hard upon the fabric of life. Meanwhile, Nova Express continued to sing and play upon their ukulele. The Last Days of Mr. Voice Delusions explosions, a sound effect soon seized upon, <clears throat> a striking form in a limitless universe. Indeed, everything starts with a single thought. We are all sweet angels that frequent heaven, remarked Munch. Large wooden characters now a distinctive sign with no beginning or end, absorbed into poetic food of inspiration. <clears throat> Greco tells everyone that the Blue Milky Way Club had appeared once again with a beautiful intensity in one of his recent lemon-stained coated dreams. His light bulb head was now switched on. A vertical bust of Venus de Milo, constructed from raw cheese and tin, with instructions projected, breathless, and at once spectacular. A magnificent sculpture, impersonal and precise. A syntax to modern life. Breton stared into the future. J. L. Mott, Ironworks, New York. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
a tremendous rip of the anus began. A truth admired, yet very few, knew of a fetus which lay in an ambulatory position, six or more feet under, give or take an inch. The foot was now out of the water. The wound was no more. Eyes communicated with the lips of fish, gathering cold fingers in a warm, dense, and lightly coated dryness of a mysterious feminine hand. A lady of tusk, noise, and nonsense. Joie de vivre. The last days of Mr. Voice.